Dragon's Milk from New Holland is one of the few year-round bourbon barrel aged beers available. But three times a year we get a treat with their reserve releases. We're going to give you a sneak peek at number two. Welcome back to 1090. I am Andy. This is Todd coming at you with another fantastic bourbon barrel aged Love beer it. review. This Love time, it. another from our friends yes. out in Michigan at New Holland Brewing. And you all know Dragon's Milk if you're fans of bourbon barrel aged beers. Like we said in the intro, available year round, but three times a year we get one of their reserve releases. The first one was a peanut butter and cocoa nibs, mm. which, was, which was really, right. really good. We have no idea what number three is, but we're excited. <laughs> but number two, which is available June 1st, so this is kind of a little bit of a sneak peek for yep. everyone out there, is uh, a vanilla mm. with two different types yes. of vanilla beans, Madagascar and Indonesian. I cannot wait. Todd, tell us about yeah. this beer. So what's special about this is, you know, they normally do Dragon's Milk in a barrel for three months mm -hmm. and then dump it out. For this one, they are putting them in freshly dumped bourbon barrels for three months on Madagascar vanilla beans, dumping that barrel out, getting new bourbon barrels that have freshly dumped, putting the Dragon's Milk Reserve back into those barrels, and adding Indonesian vanilla beans, not Madagascar. So what's the difference? Well, the Madagascar vanilla beans are the ones you are typically accustomed to. They're the ones that give you that great flavor of vanilla. It's the most popular vanilla bean in the world. That classic kind of vanilla Correct. take. The second most popular is Indonesian. How is it different? Well, it gives you a more smoky, sort of oaky flavor in addition to those vanilla flavors. I and love that. That's super smart because it should play well with the barrel. I think process. so too. The, the original Dragon's Milk, mm -hmm. Tell it does that. carry some of those flavors of those roasty, smoky notes, which I, we really like. Mm -hmm. They're not over the top, but they're very they're they're, yes. they're there, and you know that you're you're tasting yep. them. So, those Indonesian beans, can they amp that up? I hope so. And then combine it with the sweetness from the Madagascar yep. beans. I think it's a yeah. brilliant idea. Totally. But Fantastic. does it deliver? That's what we're gonna find well, out. Let's so get let, let's get a nose on, on this. Oh man. Ooh. That's a pretty nose. It's a nice nose. And you know what? The vanilla does pop at you. It's not one of those it's in your face like we've had not. variants before, but where, where it's the only thing you're smelling because you still get the bourbon notes. You still bourbon. get the dark fruits. I even get some roastiness, but, but I even, yeah. I'm telling you, I know we know that the smoke comes from those Madaga or those Indonesian vanilla beans, but I can taste or smell a little bit of, of, of smoke on this. Well, you might be able to taste it too because I tell you, it well, smells let's get great. It All right, let's 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 get it a smells, taste on this. Mm. All right, so first off. It's a bit more viscous than the regular Dragon's Milk, Absolutely. which is to be expected. It's, it's in the barrel longer. Yep. But it's not overpowering with bourbon. I think this thing, here's what I love about it, real quick. I love how balanced this is. I agree. I, you get the vanilla, mm -hmm. you get the bourbon, you get the oakiness, the smoke is there. The smoke's there, but there's almost like this dessert, like this pie crust, like the, that's going <laughs> on there. Which, do you not get that too? Yeah. Which is kind of weird. So you, you get this, like, this dessert feel, and you would think like, well, wait, too sweet? But it does, like you're right, those those smoky roasty notes balance those those sweet decadent notes so well together. One of the more impressive bourbon barrel aged beer variants I've had in a long time. I actually. will say this, if you're looking for a vanilla bomb, this is not it. No. Right? They're not using the extracts or artificial vanilla flavoring, which I think some And even sometimes the ones do. that are straight Madagascar overloaded, it can still be too much Sweet. and it can take away. Because you Although can always tell on, I know <laughs> you do, do but it. you can tell on the nose sometimes, like this yeah. thing is, this is when you can't smell the bourbon, you know that the, there's, there's probably an overload of vanilla in this. Yep. This gives you both. I love mm. the balance both on palate and nose. Yes. Love this it. is a winner. All right. So, out of five, what you got, man, well, on our barrels? I'm going to go, you know, Five, we've had a couple of fives mm -hmm. there. I think that our favorite of all time. This is right below that. I'm going four, five, four, seven, five, or right around there. The only thing I would want more is a little bit more vanilla. I love the vanilla. I know but you I think the other characteristics play so well, yeah. it's fantastic. What do you got? I'll say four, five, too. Okay. I, think, I think that's fair. I think the only thing that would probably bring it up to maybe a four, seven, five, or a touch higher for me is I want a little bit more chewiness, a little mm -hmm. bit more viscosity. That's a good point. Although it's higher than the original. Yes. I yes. still would like a little bit more. Yep. It is 11.5. You kind of want to chew on it for a little bit and a savor this because the finish isn't quite as but long this is as I would like. 11.5. It was really smooth too. Yeah, it's I super mean this smooth. this is it's so so well. It's well done. I'm gonna say when we come back and do our best mm. bourbon barrel aged beers yeah. of 2021, yeah. I would be very surprised if this isn't on our Agreed. list. So Agreed. so so really really good. good. 
So June 1st, it will hit stores nationwide. Go grab it, drink one now fresh, because it's fantastic. And then sit on one, drink with us later on and closer to December or something in the holidays. Yeah. Let us know what you think. But in the meantime, if you like what you see from 2290, please hit that subscribe button, click that little bell in the corner. Gonna let you know every time we got a new video coming out. Instagram, Twitter, Ooh. Facebook, and we will put our really nice score on on tap of this guy. Mm. We go live every Tuesday night at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. We've got on professional chefs and <laughs> distilleries and breweries. Oh, we give away awesome. swag, it's merch, rock and roll. Well, good just, just fun stuff. Good time, come hang out with us. Yep. We give away some cool merch like our, our 2.290 tool glass here, right? There you go. And also, if you'd like to donate to the channel, we are beta testing the applause for YouTube. We appreciate those of you who have done that so yeah. we can continue to grow and bring you good content. But in the meantime, we've got some work to do to finish this because this is really good and it's not it going to last the night. Time. Nope. Cheers, brother. Good stuff, man. Well done, New Holland. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.